everyone today wants to be creative. It's the one thing you'll find in the job ads in the Sydney Morning Herald. On a Saturday morning, we want to have creative professionals. The big question is, how do you develop creativity? Well, our answer to it is to develop it at the age when we are the most creative, and that's when we are young. In these early years, we're able to offer a genuinely traditional childhood where children can play, can enjoy making natural products out of natural materials. It's not saying that, oh, they're never ever going to watch television or they can't deal with technology, because of course they will. By the time the children have finished high school, they're absolutely technologically competent. The children have experiences that children love to have. Our kids love going to school. They actually get upset if they get sick or can't go for whatever reason it might be. It's the best place ever. I mean, like, some schools they really have just like concrete and like a few trees, but here you've got like this whole kind of playground of trees. That freedom to be children, to play, which is really important to us in our parenting. The aim is to produce people who are both able to use their intelligence in a healthy way and leading on to a professional life, who can express themselves artistically, but who can also locate their ideas in a practical way in the real world using their hands. starts with the little ones in uh, preschool and kindergarten learning to finger knit. You're holding something and you pull it through. So you're constantly gripping, grip, grip, grip. You're crossing over the midline and for those in educational psychology that's a big thing of being able to write. By the time they're in year seven and eight they're able to make uh, simple furniture to make their own clothes and then students from there can go on and do design and technology as a subject in the HSC as an elective. There's a full range of sports offered. They do at least up to 80 to 100 minutes of sport every week. We really encourage students to get into their community and meet their community members. The outdoor program starts in year four where the students go camping and this builds up into a whole range of camps through the high school. They learn how to research on the internet, they learn the correct way of uh, writing up a bibliography. Every child here learns an Asian language, um, all the way from year one, and a European language. Something that most people remark on is that the, the general knowledge that um, Steiner graduates have is, is just immense and really impressive. They join a huge range of different disciplines when they leave school, so I don't think we're preparing students for one thing or another. They're just well prepared for whatever it is that they decide they need to go into. For us then, it's important that the teacher who takes them on in class one forms a relationship that can then flow on through the primary years. So the class teacher that the children meet in year one takes them through those, those years, takes them into class two, into year three, into year four and so on. Being a teacher at the school is a wonderful creative process. It's like having a wonderful, huge creative project that lasts for years. Every year as you teach, you're also laying down seeds of things that you're going to pick up as you go along through the curriculum. It's really great to feel both the, the support within the school and then the, the broader community outside that as well. I'm really brought up there and supported and, and therefore delivering um, what the students should be getting. And I really appreciate that about working at the school, which I have never come across. We get to know the children very well, we get to know the families very well, and we really build a very strong community within the class. When you come here, it's like a, kind of like a really big family. You can do sport or be a science person or maths or English and whatever sort of um, thing you enjoy, you're supported with that. The overriding barometer is they're so happy to be here. They don't want to get sick because they don't want to miss school. I think it's just amazing to watch the children develop into incredible independent um, beings that are very socially aware and contribute very positively. Once you're here and you see the children working and you see their enthusiasm for work and you see their books, you can just see that they, they are really involved. Adults will often comment on the confidence that my children have in terms of being able to interact and express their views and just, just cope with a whole lot of things. This is the task we believe in the 21st century, not to produce people who think just the way it's always been done before, but to be able to think individually and creatively. 
We need new insights and new ways of doing things. And our task as a school is to provide the environment that will help the young students going through our school to find their own individual understanding.